Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic is process validation with specific focus on nominal operating range. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to get all the good content we're putting out. Check out the status bar below for our agenda. Stick around to the end to get those bonus questions. Our topic, nominal operating range, is used to fulfill some of the requirements for process validation, which comes from 820.75 and 1345 section 7.5.6. Nominal operating range in five words. Best data supported operating window. As we discussed before in our video on proven acceptable range, during the process validation, we will do our process development activities. And during process development, we will establish operating ranges for the various parameters that impact the output of our process. In the previous video, we discussed the proven acceptable range. If you recall, we find the proven acceptable range during our process validation when we do the process development. We are analyzing all of the process parameters and we're, we really want to understand the critical process parameters and what the operating windows are for those critical process parameters, the CPPs. When we look for the proven acceptable range, we will also be looking for the nominal operating range or the NOR. The NOR is the best operating window for the process. It produces the highest quality product consistently time after time. You will not find the PAR, the proven acceptable range, or the NOR, the nominal operating range, referenced in the regulations. These are best practices that many companies use to establish the operating ranges for their processes. Due to the time constraints and pressures put on product release, some companies will ignore finding the PAR and the NOR. I can tell you, if you do find the proven acceptable range and also the nominal operating range for your process, it will make life much easier for production, for quality, for purchasing later when we have deviations during the manufacturing process. Because if we have both ranges, we will have data to support any excursions that we may have on those process parameters. So how do I know this is working? Well, during my process development activities, I document the nominal operating range. That nominal operating range is supported by the data for my process development activities. And then when I do my OQ, when I do my PQ, I validate that nominal operating range and I show that it's consistent and it produces good product through my validation. So how do I know it's not working? My operating window is not based on data from my process development activities. And second, I don't establish a nominal operating rate. And now for those three bonus questions. First, does our procedure require us to capture a nominal operating range? If yes, can you provide me that procedure number? Second, do we validate the nominal operating range during OQ and PQ? And then finally, does our process also require us to capture a proven acceptable range? And do we also analyze edge of failure? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to me at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained, making quality systems simple for you.